Ooh, we a vlog. This is gonna be fun. We're heading to a Cars and Coffee in the southeast of Melbourne today, and I wanted to start it or start the vlog up here. Like, yeah, get my ugly head out of that shot. Look at, look at, hold up. Look at this shit. Like, this is fucking stunning. What, what is this shit? Is this Unreal Engine Five? Like, seriously, I'm fucking, I'm loving this. Anyway, we're gonna jump on the little. <laughs> little squeaky bike, little 300, little vacuum cleaner. This thing is so much fun on the street. I mean, if I have to go on anything above, no, oh, whatever, I'm fucking rambling. I'm gonna jump on the little 300. We're gonna have fun down at the Cars and Coffee. I just, I'm so glad I got to show you guys this this morning. It's so beautiful up here. Let's go. Did he say strap in or strap on? I have no idea what cars are gonna be there today, who's gonna be there, what it's going to be like in any way, shape or form. I'm really excited to just capture something unique and just have fun. Um, I need to figure out a way to shoot rollers on the bike right now because I'm looking at this Audi next to me and it just looks pristine in the sunlight. Hopefully we can get there while the sun's still just peaking and maybe we can get some nice early morning photos. Ooh, ooh, what is, what is this? Are you on your way today, sir? Is it here? Am I turning here? Oh, it just, yeah, we, you know you're close to the car, mate. That is some, oh my god, get in me. Okay, let's go find somewhere to park. Man, I gotta get, gotta get done. Somewhere park out of the way. Uh, the back, yeah? yeah, done. Thank you. Excuse me, people. That's what I was hoping for. Really don't want to waste any time here, so we're gonna get this GoPro on. It's 8:21 on the phone. Let's see what we get when we get the GoPro going. There we go. Look. Okay, 8.28. Let's go have fun. Start the day off with a healthy breakfast. Is that yellow Porsche I saw here before? What a stunning shot this is. Oh my god. Oh, it's so hard to tell because of the sun. I can't actually tell where the polarizers being the most effective. Oh shit, is that it? That's it right here. There we go. Now yeah, we just gotta try and wait for the shot. No, you guys go through. <laughs> no, nah, don't stress, bro. <laughs> you see, that's one people don't people don't think about is that I have no more right to view these cars than anyone else. I should not be holding people up or telling them to stop or getting annoyed when they get in my way. They have just as much as right as me. And even if I had a media pass or I was getting paid by the event, I wouldn't stop people. Who else along here? I wanted to, yeah, this thing, this thing right fucking here. So try and wide, fit in a few cars on the outside. Then even just up close on the 17. So I don't know if these angles are gonna work. It's such close proximity. And this is why I'm not such a fan of car meets because every car looks exactly the same in every single photo because you can't get different angles. But they're good to practice and you can network at these things so by no means am i discounting these large scale car meets or any, honestly any scale car meets you've got to find a way to make them useful so what i'm doing right here is rotating the polarizer pretty much three or four times and focusing on different areas of the car each time i rotate just to see how significant the difference is. Still a gorgeous car. And the first thing we're gonna do is literally just speed walk through the whole lot and find some nice cars. And as we can see, that's not gonna be hard, bro. Oh, that made me laugh. Honestly, just everywhere I turn, there's a goddamn shot. This is wild. Try and get low for this. Oh. 
It's actually a really nice shot with the tree there, I'm not gonna lie. I really like this. So I'm excited to see if this shot even turns. Parked on the hill looking absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna try and go back a bit and get an even tighter shot. You might be wondering what's the difference? Well, a tighter, tighter focal length affects the background and it affects the distortion of the vehicle. So right now we're sitting at about 70. So I'm gonna get similar-ish framing, but this is more just a test, just to see how it will turn out. I'm gonna set the polarizer again, just because it's good practice. So I'm sitting at around, what, 60 something? And you just gotta wait. Patience is, is a virtue right here, my friends. Don't even know if I got that shot. Oh, pop a squat right there, fuck. <laughs> now I'm in the road, I'm not in the way, am I? And this is why I wanted to move fast, because you know you're gonna cop a lot of these moments where you just cannot get a clear shot. I think taking photos of cars at car meets is like fishing. It's just, you gotta time everything so right. Hey. Let's go down this way and see what we can spot up. This is nice. This is real nice. Capture a shot from the dark side. Let's see what we can get. Is there anything coming through here? I don't think I'm in the way of anyone. Got to move in for the wide angle. <laughs> and we're gonna do it on the sunny side as well, which should probably be done for most wide angle shots like this. Uh, there we go, and we'll go on the sunny side because it looks a lot more set up better, a lot better set up. Goodest English here today, folks. Goodest English. This isn't so bad, but yeah, the shadow honestly just kills it for me. Maybe that's just the way my brain works. I don't like the shadow cutting off the bottom half of the car. When everything else is broad fucking daylight. Oh my God, the interiors, the interiors, bro. Can I capture anything meaningful from out here through the window? I like to frame up the exterior of the car in the shot. This is actually going to get interesting. Because the camera doesn't like to focus. Even when it's shot inside the car, it still focuses outside. I don't understand why. So I'm going to, I'm going to have to switch this to manual focus. And then we're just going to pray that I can actually get the um, exposure right on a sunny day for an inside, inside shot. So let's see, we've got to... What do we got in there? Steering column, wheels. Let's get this bitch in focus. It's almost like you're just peering through. I like it, I dig it. Oh, I've got to get the McLaren at this angle actually. You can capture the sun. Look at that, yeah, facing the sun. That's, that's, that's really good practice for the, for the camera sensor. <laughs> Fucking love that angle so much. Man, 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 interiors did not improve from this point onwards. This is, this is, oh my god, I can't even, I can't even form a fucking sentence anymore, there's too much going on. I like framing shots like this. Get some good ratios going, might even just step back a wee bit further. Capture a bit of the hood. Just see how this turns out. Look at this little car right here. I've got an idea. Hold up. Wait, let's go find the driver. Hey, my bro. I've got a cool idea for a photo if you're down. Yeah. I'll probably stand somewhere here and slide the car. I don't know. Where's it easy to drift from for you? Like down this way in front of me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Let's see if I can get this set up in time. No, no, you're good, bro. Take your time, I'm gonna try and set up settings, but I wanna try and get a, a sick little shot here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna crank up the f-stop a bit. Probably around five. And then drop it all the way down to say like one 
thirtieth of a second. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna have to move the fucking thing here. And then we focus it. So I reckon try and get the car between me and the gutter, basically. I'll tell you when I'm ready, because this is uh, a bit hard to set up. Uh, one sec, one sec. Okay, okay, I think we're good, bro. Go for it. Let's see if I got it. <laughs> yeah, bro, it worked. <laughs> Uh, looks That's sick. mad. Bro, that looks gorgeous. That's so cool. Do you have like an Instagram or something? Uh, or I'll find you. There's no Instagram. I don't really... Oh, don't stress, it. man. Yeah, I'll message you on there when I get these photos up. <laughs> man, you always got to get little photos of the RC cars, man. They always look good. I can't take a, a fucking step without there being a good photo. So we're going to get some height for this one. And we're gonna go back up to old settings if I can even figure out what that is. Back to single shot focus. Drop that f stop all the way down. Looking pretty good here. So I wanna try a shot from up high. I do a lot of low shots, a lot of low, but there's something to be said about shots from up here, yeah? Just nice and high. A little underexposed, so we'll get nice and close. This is just stunning. So not every car you want to try and get the same angle. Yes, I'm low, yes, I'm close to the ground, but let's say this shot might look really good for a Mustang, but I don't think it quite works for an RX-7. However, if I just drag it up a bit and angle it a little better, you can catch more of the front, and I just got to cut the polarizer into the right spot. Oh, this is a tight shot to get. So it's actually not cutting out as much of the reflection as I need, believe it or not. And it's really on the back three-quarter area. Not bad. That is stunning. Oh, bro's on my bike. That looks sick. Hold on. Hey, my bro, can I take a photo of you on the bike, oh, man? Oh yeah, sure, man. Fuck yeah. Oh, sweet. Let's see if I can get this right. Woo -wee. Try and get these settings good. Bro, that looks so good. Hold up, let me... I'll try one more from down here. Fuck yeah, dude. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Do you have an uh, Instagram or somewhere I can yeah, uh, shoot you the photos? Yeah, that's me. Awesome, thank you, bro. Uh, right, Andrew, by the way. Andrew Ace. Ace, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, have fun with that. Looks yeah, I'll see awesome. You around, man. For sure. Thanks for the photos. Yeah, easy, man. No, go through, man. You're good. And even when people stop, it's better to just let them go. Otherwise, you're going to get too comfortable with thinking people should and will stop for you. Okay, let's take a quick hike down here and see what we find. We're gonna move fast actually. We're gonna do a run. Yep, that is that is perfection. Yep. A couple lambos. An army truck. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Car park goes all the way through to here. Oh wow. What is this color scheme called? What is this? It's like a snack, man. I'm actually hungry right now. Holy shit. I need to find the owner of this car. I need to find the owner of this car right now. Oh my god. Jesus fucking Christ. I just, I'm trying to step so carefully. I don't want to scratch anything, I don't want to damage anything. Just, oh my god. I think it's fucking perfection. Ooh! Okay, no, there's a shot here, bro. I am not leaving. I knew this was going to happen. I'm using the hoods as reference to see if the polarizer's cut properly. A few more seconds and I'll get this shot. Wait for it. 
Looks alright. Looks alright. We're gonna give wide angle. Wide, low and close. Guess if you can't find a good angle, try them all. Looks pretty good from here. So this is a car that you can get nice and low. And really, really exaggerate angles on this. Because of the shape of the car works really really well as compared to the RX-7 hell of a lot more aerodynamic and trimmed out <laughs> ah, love the car scene okay let's head to the other side now more towards the front of the Bosch Center and see what's up oh oh, oh wow God fucking damn it, that is perfection as oh look at that Oh my god Oh my god This is actual fucking sex Like Like Come come on it, even if you're not into cars you could own this car and still feel like an absolute weapon Your ego would go so far I know that cat bed I know that cat bed Oh my god, I love that Corvette so much. I'm not going to pass up a nice car, especially when it's parked in a perfect position. This is why I'm not a fan of just taking a photo of a car with a 50 from standing far back. It's just... I don't see any entertainment. There's not a lot of context in the image. It's just, uh, here's a car. But wide angles, you get to tell a story a bit more. You get to show, show off context. Add elements into the image that aren't necessarily going to be there. It's also just handy to have when you're at car meets. Cool, thank you man. <laughs> Sometimes it works. But I don't want to straight up just be like, yo, don't walk in front of me because it, like I said, it's a dick thing to do. I don't own this car meet. And again, even if I did, I'm not going to tell you to get out of the way. We all have the same right here. That is a nice angle. But there is so much going on in this shot. <laughs> this is insane, the amount of vehicles right here. I love this. Let's do my photo, he's parking up. Let's get this thing done nice and quick. Really like, really like the colors that are gonna show up. Not bad, let's get a move on. That's a whip and a half right there. My god. That is something else. Ooh. Ooh. See, black is one of the hardest cars to photograph in broad daylight, I swear. It's so hard to get the exposure right, black levels right. So this would be a really good chance to practice some some Basic color grading, photo correction, even just making a clean edit. So the S2K is about to be free, let's move on that. This does not happen often, so I want to be a ninja with it. Get in and out nice and quick. I'm going to slightly underexpose it. And then just recover. so hard to see what's set up properly and what isn't with all the goddamn reflections. Ooh <laughs> this looks like a bit of a, a wee angle right here. I just want to I'm gonna try and see what I can capture off this. I feel like I really like this shot, but I need to see what it looks like behind a big screen. So I'm gonna set the polarizer, lift the camera up, hope I'll set it properly, because all I can see right now is sunlight. I actually cannot see. I have no idea what I'm taking a photo of.
Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm ge I guess that's a photo. I Man, we got a... We got a busy couple hours ahead. We are still going strong. Maybe the Supra as well. So it's like uh, it's like fishing. Yeah. Taking photos of cars at car meets, you just gotta yeah. be patient and let it happen. Yeah, thank you though guys. Cheers. Actually really like this shot. Just the contrast. Transitions from light to dark. If only I could get those super wheels just to turn towards me a bit, it'd be perfect. Oh, is this an angle of the little thing that I don't know? It's gorgeous, I'm not trashing it, that's for sure. So let's see if I can focus on it, for starters. I really like this car. Hmm, polarizer not might be might whoop might not be the go here. So it's really Ooh wee. Gimme that. Gimme that angle. Oh, get about here. Fucking beautiful. I'm gonna go back a bit. I've got a lot of room downhill to get something interesting. I'm thinking this line here. I don't know if this is ooh, that might be too tight. I still want a semi-wide shot, maybe a 30. Interesting. Even just like a few cars in the same shot. So same focal length. And then I'm gonna fuck with the exposure a bit. Just drop it down slightly under. That's exactly what I wanted actually. I wanted to tell a bit of a story. We're not just here to photograph cars. It's like 95% of what I want to do. It's also about the people. Can can we get my blue? Nice. Just walk in, walk out like a like a ninja, powered by Dexies and Red Bull. Right, fuck this bin off out the way. Put a bin in the middle of cars, like what the fuck are you doing, son? That's better. Just try the regular level wide angle, three quarter shot. No, no, you're good, man. Level wide angle, typical. And then the uh, early 2000s car mag shot. I fucking love this shot. Oh, I love this. We've got a lot of room to move. Nice, compact little car. So we're gonna have some fun with this. Can I capture something through the gap here? Is that gonna be, um, am I gonna be granted luck? So what? Go okay, one over 250. ISO at. Oh, you know, right there. Point three, yeah, so uh, 640 ISO. And then we're gonna try and focus on the wheel. Oh god, I'm fucking sweating here, and I've only got a hoodie. Literally just a hoodie, not even a t-shirt under that, and I'm sweating. So let's focus on the wheel, and then hold that button and move in. Ah, oh, I lost focus. It looks like it's possible, so we're gonna go to manual. And pick our spot. Ooh, that is... Just trying to find it right here. I don't know if this is working, but it's worth the shot. Love my wide angle cockpit shots where you capture a bit of the outside. I'm gonna try and work with the characteristics of the car, so I feel like sitting around here works pretty well. Watching the panel work on the car to see if the polarizer's cut out. Actually, if he can take a photo right as I'm taking a photo, do it, bro, do it. Come on, you know you want to. No? Okay. I like capturing other people taking photos. Just add something to it, you know? Ooh. 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 
God damn it. I can't keep up with this. Look at this. Oh, I gotta find the right angle. I'm trying to compliment the car, but downhill low while the car's low just feels strange. Like I can't I can't picture in my head what this is gonna look like, even though I'm sitting in front of it. How lens distortions affects images is not something I've been able to visualize hundred percent in my head. It's it's always been touch and go. I need to take a break. I'm overwhelmed. This is just like this, this, that on the road, that car, that, this, that super. This. There's so many cars I could just spend at least 20 minutes on individually here. We're just, just getting slammed with luck today. I love this. So this is the new M2. Um, honest opinions, it looks soft as fuck. If you widen the wheelbase, and lower it by a smidge, it'll get that aggressiveness that the old M2 had. But this is only speaking about aesthetics. Anything beyond that, it's like asking Stevie Wonder to describe the Mona Lisa, you know, I don't fucking know shit. I want to get a real typical shot since we're in a good, good spot, cut out some reflections real quick. It's just a really nice shot. You just. Oh, it makes me happy. I might jump on the road for this shot. Let's get the eyes on the road real quick. hard to tell if this is exposed correctly so this is actually good practice I don't think I have taken a photo of a car from the shadow side or the dark side into direct sunlight and then had to color correct it before technically rolls look at that shit The reason I'm doing this is not because I think it'll make a cool video for clout, but it's practice. You have to move settings, or have to move yourself and change settings on the fly. Try and adapt, and it's really, it's a really good test of your ability as a photographer. Not to take a good photo, but to take a good photo in a hurry. Good shit. Hello. I think I remember you from Compello Club. Okay, let's see where he comes up. He's gonna turn the wheel. Hey, which way are you sending this guy? Left or right? That way? So I'm gonna try and grab it. So I'm thinking about here. Perfect song for this car too. No, no, you're good, man. You're good. <laughs> you're doing well, man. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go get this guy's contact details, man. I need to shoot a car like this. You know, he's probably not gonna find a park for a while. I know what he looks like. I'll track him down. I hope. Look at this fucking duo right here. My God. Perfect. That's gorgeous. I want to get the other side too. Oh, I know an angle right here already. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to underexpose it slightly just because of the whiteness in the car. 
looks alright. I do want to capture a clean shot. I've got to stop snapping away like a moron and wait for a minute. That will probably be as clean as I can get. Oh my god, here we go. Give me, give me your wheels, boy. This shit looks good. Oh god damn, in the sunlight and everything. Actual fucking, I mean, oh, can't even form a sentence anymore. We're gonna fuck around here for a bit, I think. What angle, what angle do I want? Oh, this is a real hard angle to get because I don't know how how well the framing is with the bush but I know this angle is going to look good if I get it right this car is stunning oh, I love this so much potential of this meet. I mean look at everything out here this is wild actually I want to catch up a photo of him having a quick peek do it again no Okay. I'm going to underexpose because of the white paint. 0.3 underexpose, that's not bad. And... Got to get that angle in. Just trying to figure out what's the right angle here. Love this. This is looking tasty right here. I'm not in the way of anything. Oh, bro's backing out. I'm trying to maximize while he's out. Man, we've got to work here. Set the polarizer, cut those reflections off on the side. There they go. A bit closer. Closer and lower, match the characteristics of the car. Raise it up a smidge and see how this composition works out. You just touch and go. Look at that back wheel though, Jesus Christ. I like this shot already. It says it's underexposed. I'm not buying it. I do want to just see what correcting the exposure does. And I'm saying correcting exposure like that because I do believe it is okay. As it was a minute ago, but right now it's 0.3. And then if I lower it back down to where it was, it was about negative one. So at least we can compare results and just see how it turns out. Oh, this is a nice angle. And again, it's really hard to set the polarizer. Let me get the boys looking at the car. Let's see if we can capture this. Let's see if I can just frame it up. I might actually stand back a bit just to fit him in. Let's see what the next angle they where are you guys gonna stop and talk next? I actually wanna try and make this a good shot. Let's see. If I can cap an angle here somewhere. Drop the exposure a bit, get it under the 0.13 I think. Nice. I don't have asthma but I can't breathe right now. Again, another near black car, gonna be really interesting to test out my abilities with color grading, making clean edits. Gonna go chat to the owner. Hopefully we can 
tee up something, try and make something of ourselves, god damn. That is a whip and a half right there. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's go chat to the owner. Hey, how are you, man? Not bad. Uh, Andrew, nice to meet bad. you. Cool. Take There's care. a lot here. Yeah, thanks again, bro. Cheers. Cheers. See ya. Ooh-wee. I'm going to have to edit these, um, these little pink flags out because I want to capture both sides of a low angle. Actually, the fam here. What are you boys doing? Having a geese. Let's get a photo of that. Ah, oh, they moved off too quick. God damn it. Yeah, dark side. Step back just a smidge. Let's see what we could cap. That's looking pretty decent. I don't know if I like the uh, old school angle going on for this car. I feel like it needs a square composition just to go with the characteristics and work with what the car is. So I'm putting the car in the lower one third of the grid. I'm actually kind of happy with that composition. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm going to roll with a similar shot that I grabbed for that other car, but I want to try and capture this, what is that, like a chimney stack as part of the composition. So I'm going to put the put car on the bottom one third line and then the chimney stack on the leftmost one third line. And then see what I can do. Tine up the angle a bit. Get the comp. So that car's moving in. Is he gonna back up though? Oh no, we've got cars coming from every angle now. Actually, that guy's got business cars. Maybe there's a social on here somewhere. What's he got? So we got a Clark Cobb. Yep, that is exactly what I was hoping to get. Thank you, my bro. Something a bit further back. Can we tell a bit of a, a story here? Maybe get a get the tree on the shot. Step further back, just so I've got room to room to move when I'm editing. Okay, so I've got a Mark 1 here and there was a Mark 1 that I was frothing out the back. Imagine getting both of these cars together. I think I would actually pass out if I could get two of these owners together. This composition's interesting. I'm going to try right here first and then I'm going to try a slightly different position. Not to do with the car, but to actually do with what's in the background. So, similar, similarly to what I did before, but it's a little tighter. Try to level the camera out a bit actually. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna try it just a little bit more to the left. Actually, we got a lot going on here. So we've got the tree, chimney stuck in the background and the two stangs. Can we make something work? Actually, my bro, take a photo. Do it, do it. No, he's not gonna do it. Um, how do we fill out this composition so it's nice and even? So tree on the left, chimney stack, dead center. And cars filling out the rest. Position that polarizer in the right spot. Probably here. Trying to level out. Okay, hopefully that's decent. I've always wondered about the cameras on highway patrol cars. Look at these. God damn. So one, two. It's either four cameras on one side or what? Like Jesus Christ, these things are kitted. Very cool. I'd love to organise a, a shoot with uh, Highway Patrol. So uh, Vic Pole or Highway Patrol guys, if you see this on Instagram, send me a message. I wanna I wanna tee up a shoot with some lights. I feel like there'd be something gorgeous to capture here. Um, it would be awesome to cross communities. There's a lot of hate from cops to cars. And we gotta fix that shit. So if you guys are interested, you know where the message button is, I'm right here. Let's try and grab a shot. Gonna 
I'm gonna look at this angle here. See, it's just these pink flags that were on the shot for me. But even if I just squidge over and get the other highway patrol car in, do I keep it as a two car shot? I might just keep it as a one car shot, to be honest. I'm gonna pump up the exposure so I can make sure reflections are out and we'll work with it as we go. And we'll drop the ISO again, get the exposure to point negative 0.3. I might even get a bit closer if I'm honest. Do I just go up to them and say, hey, how would an amateur photographer tee up a shoot with highway patrol and do a little crossover? So it looks like we've got the one guy there, but he's already talking. Now, you don't want to interrupt convoys, but there's got to be another officer somewhere. Yeah, the hood's open like, yeah, you try and run, this is what you're going to fuck with. As much as I feel like speeding is a problem, a lot of the problem comes from the absolute piss poor driver education we have in Australia. It's all well and good to drive a powerful car on your open license or your full license, but just because you drive a fast car doesn't mean you're a fast driver or a good driver. See, just gotta, gotta work fast. Oh, no, that's right. I was actually able to speak to one of you boys if you got a moment. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much, Mick. No worries, mate. Appreciate it. Not a problem. Legend. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. <laughs> See, a lot of taking photos isn't just taking photos. It's actually just being able to talk to people. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you I know what I'm doing, but I do my best. Is this an angle? Not bad. Right, here we go. It's nice to capture a bike. It's a shame the van is where it is, but we can we can make it work, you know. Well, I think my settings have been a bit whack for a while. Been a bit illogical. Yeah, that's a nice spot. So cars are starting to roll. Holy shit! So I don't know if he's waiting, but we're gonna work fast. That is something else. Okay, while they're sitting here. Oh, there's a composition, I've got to find it. Is that a shot or is it just ridiculous? Because I don't like the camera angled up so high all the time. But you don't know unless you take the shot, right? You know, I'm going to make a move now. The GoPro's still got battery. So does the camera. Let's just <laughs> grab some shots while we can. Where are we going to move? Looks like most people are going uphill. So the camera was overheated and it has 13% battery. Car meat is emptying out. We'll go in there after, but I think oh, it's a hell of a lot more fun out here on the road watching the cars take off and just enjoy themselves. I want to try and get a traffic light photo of these two boys here. So that's sneak in the way. Not bad, not bad. I feel like you can read a good driver from a bad driver. By how they handle the car in terms of steering input. If it's really sharp and harsh. Oh boys, boys! Oi! What are you fucking doing? Oh my god. Oh, here we go. So it's important to keep the motion nice and steady. 
So you're not going to take a photo with the camera like this, fucking shaking everywhere. Keep your movement nice and horizontal. Look at the camera, look at the lens, and then look at the top of the road. Just locking onto the car. That's all you got to do. Said, I really, really do hope you guys enjoyed. There's going to be a lot more of this content coming soon. Um, man, if you like cars, photos, drift, motorsport, photography, just any of that shit, motorbikes, just, just put a wholesome fun, subscribe, follow, whatever the button is, click it. Much love, peace, thank you guys. My baby, my baby.